Welcome to the Flowing of the Anointed International Ministry. I am Prophetess Diane Johnson. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming uh, on uh, the YouTube and viewing my video. Truly, it's a blessing, it's an honor um, to uh, to be standing before each of you. And um, but the Lord had laid it on my heart to do a uh, woman to woman talk on um, some issues that. Uh, that um, each of us are dealing with and things that we need to be um, truly delivered uh, from and um, honestly God has been dealing with me as well uh, through the years on um, you know by making sure that I deal with issues and, and, and make sure that I go before him and um, and being honest before the Lord and just asking him to help me and so um, I'm gonna be doing um, series, uh, three series. Um, on today, I'm going to be start doing the self uh, series, um, and I'm going to kind of briefly do that on tonight, and um, and also I'm going to be doing singleness, um, how uh, us women should carry ourselves as single women, and the things that God commanded us to do in His Word. Um, and also, I'm going to deal on marriage uh, as well. And how you know us women is how we must carry ourselves as godly women in the home, um, and how we should set example. Not just looking at the mistakes of, of of the husband, but also look at yourself and make sure that you are doing what God has called you to do as a wife. And I know no one, none of us is perfect. We all make mistakes, um, and I'm the first to say that I'm not perfect. But I know that. Um, when I know that I'm doing something wrong in the spirit of God, convict my heart. I, um, you know, I go before the throne of God and I repent and I ask Him to forgive me and to purge me with His, and to continue to create in me a clean heart, so I can be perfected in that area. Um, before I go on, I'm gonna go ahead and say a little quick prayer, and, um, and then we'll go on with the um, this first step series on self and uh, dealing with some issues that that we must we must must deal with. Amen. Um, Father God, Lord Jesus, I thank you right now, Lord. I thank you right now for this time. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for those that are around, Lord Jesus, that are looking at this video. Lord, touch their heart, touch their minds, Lord. Touch their, their soul right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, give, give them an ear to hear what the Spirit is saying unto them. Lord, continue to mold us and shape us as women of God, that you have called us to be. None of us is perfect, but Lord, we want to be like you, Jesus. We want to be that light of the world and the salt of the earth. And Lord, we ask you to forgive us for any sins that we may have committed, sins that we don't even know about. Lord, we ask you right now to continue to deal with that, Lord, those issues, Father God, that we will be perfected in those areas. And we just thank you right now, Father God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Um, the Lord has um, dealt with me first of all, um, and I'm coming to 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 um, because the Lord he 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 dealt with me years back on certain issues um, that I had to go in my secret closet and ask God to help me with. Because um, a lot of times when we in situations, um, when we in relationships. Um, when we in marriages and divorce and so forth like that, we have a tendency of lashing out at others. And we might not even know that we're doing those things. Um, and so when God dealt with me first on it, um, it, it was a f 10 years ago, he dealt with me on it. And he shared with me and he told me that, you know, these things that he didn't want me to be. And... He began to show me those things about myself because when I was praying, I was asking God to mold me and shape me and to purge me. And when he was doing that, uh, he was showing me myself. He was letting me know that, um, you know, that I need to uh, deal with those things because what's in a man is going to come out, you know, no matter how much you suppress it. But whatever's in you, whether it's anger in you, whether it's unforgiveness in you, whether there's bitterness in you, it's going to manifest. And a lot of times we, when it manifests, it ends up hurting other people around us, especially those that we are close to. And we have to always be mindful 
and be sensitive to the spirit of God and be be um, uh, have a broken and a contrite spirit to be able to recognize when those things pop up we need to immediately deal with those issues and not hover those things in our heart and uh, so the Lord he began to start dealing with me on uh, Lot's wife and how she um, and, and this and we can turn to that and that's going to be in Genesis 19 and, and 26 and I want to uh, deal with this here just a brief moment and talking about how Lot's wife and it just we all know the scripture and it talks about how and it says on the 26th verse it says but his wife looked back from behind him and she became a pillar of salt and God started dealing with me on that verse and what he had given me on this title he said don't let life consume you or lose your value and what that means consume consume is the cares of this life um, issues of this life that's easy to beset us and get us off course that's easy to to uh, get us out of the will of God and now yes we in the flesh and things we going we we in this life we gonna have there's 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 we gonna have there's a natural side of us and there's also a spiritual side of us but there's the spirit of God that's in, on in the side of us that will always convict us to let us know when we are doing wrong and when we start dealing with ourselves we got to look at Galatians 5 and 21 where it talks about the fruit of the spirit and the first thing it says is love and that's one of the commandments that God command us to do is love one another as thyself amen and don't let life Women's women's a God. All women's around this world. Yes, we have we gone through a lot of stuff in our life. We all have different testimonies. We all have have different stories. We all have been through something, but we don't want to let it to consume us. And that's what happened with Lot's wife. She she when she looked back, she turned that that because she disobeyed God. She turned into the pillar of salt. And that pillar of salt could mean issues, different stuff that we face every day. Amen. And so we don't want that to happen. Because, we, and, and a lot of times too, looking back is nothing but death. The Bible says that how can a man plow the ground and look back? Because he said you are not worthy in the kingdom of God. And see, the world is watching us, women of God. They're watching our lifestyles. They're watching how we carry ourselves in the workplace. They're watching us how we speak to one another. And some can't even tell the difference because of our attitude, some of our attitudes. And I'm not speaking to all, but you know who you are. And I'm not condemning you and I'm not judging you because, like I said, God had to deal with me first. And I had to put away those things. Because I wanted to be like Christ. And a lot of times those things you can't, um, you can't do it in the flesh. You have to do it by fasting and praying. And seeking God's face and going before the throne room of God. So he can, so he can purge you. Because the more you stay in his presence, the more he will, he will wash those things from you. And, and, and I had to, that's what I had to do. I had to, because there was a lot of unforgiven things that I had went through. Things that I had gone through that I had carried on unforgiveness. And I knew it was there. But I had to go before the throne room of God. And I had to ask him to help me. I had to ask him to purge me. Because I can't do it on my own. Only God. His grace is sufficient. He's, he's, he's the one that cleanses us. He's the with his blood. He died, already bore it on the cross. And all he wants us to do is come unto him. All ye are laid in the heaven laid. And he said, I will give you rest. He will give you rest. He will give you that peace. Because a lot of times when we're in a situation 
and and I'm not gonna really tap on it. I'm gonna tap on it later because it's talking about marriage, about how a woman. But right now, let's talk about self, because we this is a this is this is a personal thing. This is the inner man, and these are the things that we have to get rid of in order to become like Christ, because the old man got to be put away with the old man. We cannot walk around with the old man. We can't walk around. You know, in the flesh. Now I know we living. You know, we 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 on this earth, and you know, and some things. You know, we just we it's a continuous thing. We got to continue. Ask God to help us, and ask God to cleanse us, and ask God to help us in those areas. So, um, but but when I said don't don't let life consume you, and let's look at the word consume. Okay, consume is and it's different this is the verb it says eat drink or ingest food or drink people consume a good deal of sugar or drink synonyms it says eat devour ingest swallow gobble up guzzle feast on snack on the, these things here is talking about um about the things that we are holding on to, things that we got to be delivered from, you know, whether it's um, um, gossip, whether it's bitterness, you know, someone come to you and talk to you and say, oh, you know, um, sister, I need some help and, 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 you know, I need such and such and then when somebody else come along and then you blow up on them and then you like, you know, uh, you know, you go off on them, you know, in the flesh. And that's not God, and then you got some other woman, maybe in the same workplace as you, and they're looking at you because they know that you're a woman of God. They know you supposed to be a woman of God, but you're in the workplace, you know, and it's not the, 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 you know, the character of God is not there because the way you carry yourself, and that can hurt another person. Because of the because of the action that they see, they say, "Oh no, I'll never go to their church. I never, you know, uh, you know, uh, be around them because the way they carry carry themselves." And God, He wants us to be the light of the world. He want He us women. We are. We have values. We have values. We have we have family morals. We have family values, uh, ethics. We, we we you know. So we don't want these things to guff us up. Anything that's easy to beset us, we don't want those things to guff us up, to cause us to come out of the will of God, and then we gonna have to repent later. And that's and, and that's another thing because see, God had to deal with me on how to be so to speak and quick to listen, and that was very hard. If I tell you that was very hard, <laughs> it was very hard because when He told me, He said, "Be slow to speak and quick to listen." Because I was a type of woman that I, at that particular in the time passed years ago, and I'm still working on myself. I have to be slow to speak when people are talking, especially those that that easily beset me or get me upset and, and so forth. I have to watch. I have to watch what I say. I have to listen, and then make a decision. Uh, what would Jesus do? Would I do, make the right choice by not saying nothing or or be a peacemaker? Or, you know, it, because the Bible talks about turning the other cheek. We're talking about self. We're talking about self. We're dealing with self right now. Because that is our biggest hang-ups as women is ourself. Because we can be selfish. We can, I mean, we can be, um, we can, we can, we can, um, we look at our other sisters. We can get jealous. We, 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 we can be envy of them for no cause because they may have something. We're supposed to rejoice. When someone is being blessed, when our sister's being blessed, we're supposed to rejoice with them. When they are down and out and they are things they're going through in life, the Bible said rejoice with them that rejoice and weep with them that weep. We have to be about our Father's business, women of God. We have to be careful in how we carry ourselves 
and, and the things that we say, we can't pop off at the mouth and just say in and everything and just assume that, you know, that we're going to win or so. Because there's you, you don't know who's watching you. You don't know what 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 com what they're listening to, and and we have to be very very mindful. That's why the Bible says that we have to be careful in how we entertain strangers underwear because it could be angels. We don't know if we even being in front of angels. We don't know if we even entertaining angels. They could be we have, we go past by angels all the time. I'm talking about true believers of God that believe in these things. You know, uh, there's there's no God's word. You see. And so we have to be very, very careful in how we treat other people because that is a soul. That is a soul that is so we should be able to encourage one another wherever we go. We should not be talking about one another. We should not be backbiting one another. You hear something somebody said, you know, about another person or, or whatever the case might be. Don't even entertain that. You have to sometimes change the conversation. Sometimes you don't, because see, I don't like negative stuff neither, you know, and sometimes you have to, you know, you, you sometimes you have to either get still away from it, get away from it, or you have to let God use you to say some, say a certain thing wisely and not just say anything, because a lot of times, you know, we end up saying something that we don't mean, and then sometimes we say we mean it, because the, 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 when you're saying you mean what you say and you know it's evil, and you know it's wrong, that's not God. And and God said, blessed are those, you know, that, that, that uh, he said, uh, blessed are the peacemaker, for they are called the children of God. And, you know, and that's in Matthew, the fifth chapter. And see, God wants us to be peacemakers. He wants us to, to love thy neighbor as thyself. But it starts with us. It starts with self first. And we have to, you know, and a lot of times we get hurt, you know, in these past marriages, in these past relationships, and then, you know, we get up into some another's relationship, and then we blame that person, you know, for, for whatever situation that, that, that you done gone through. But but like I said, that's another series. I'm not I'm just kind of touching on that because it's dealing with self. We have to examine ourselves. God wants us to examine ourselves. He wants us to and and you know, um, he wants us to be uh, slow to speak and quick to listen and examine and be careful in what we say and be careful how we how we talk. You know, even our conversation, the Bible says that it should be holy. Our conversation should we shouldn't be. And I know that I, you know, we all not, you know, that you know, we we all striving, but we all trying to make it too at the same time. So, um, so that's one of the things that God is saying. You know, he wants us to, when you stop valuing, valuing, valuing who you are, it lower yourself. It lower yourself when you stop valuing who you are. And that is by lowering yourself. And what is by lowering yourself? That is by hurt, uh, past hurt. And one thing I always say, when you hurt, you hurt people around you. And that is a true statement. You know, you, when you are hurting and you going through and you've been through certain uh, cares of life, and you, you, you begin to tend to lash out on other people that, that shouldn't be lashed out because a lot of time, those same people, now I'm not saying, I'm just talking about the close people that's to you. Them very people is the one that's there to help. You might not see it and might not understand it, but they there as a friend. Now, God, a lot of time, he'll selectively pick your friends out for you, you know, if you ask him to. And I know for myself, I have prayed and I, I asked God to selectively uh, choose my friends and people that I should be hooked up with that's going to help me grow more and more in God. And I know um, with the calling that he has on my life, I, I, I'm a, you know, it's a lonely walk, you know, and, and, and you know, it's a lonely walk when God chose you. Uh, in these end times and you know you can't be around everybody because you got to protect the anointing that's upon your life you have to protect the anointing on your life and uh, so God can be able to you know protect you amen and um, but our own self can be our biggest hang ups and we know things and a lot of times we know is wrong and we still do it 
we know it's, it's the wrong. We will say something and know it's wrong to say. And never repent. Don't Now, sometimes we, conviction will come later on. But it's good to go ahead and repent. But see, the Bible also says when you have an art against someone, you go to them in private. You don't broadcast it. See, some things is in order. and Some, some things we do, it can be out of order. Because a lot of times when we have an issue, especially with, with someone else, the Bible is just because God, God is a God of order. And he, when, he's, when he's, he said in his word that if you have an art against someone, you go to them in private. And see, a lot of times when what we do, we get on that phone and we start talking. And we start, you know, we, I mean, we start, you know, just, just, you know, just talking about that person. Because, see, the devil is accused of a brother. And then we're not supposed to, you know, be out there uh, throwing our discord among the brethren. Neither, because that's the word of God. The Bible said we ain't supposed to throw out no discord among the brethren. And, and so many times, and I'm not just talking about women's, but men's too. I'm talking about the body of Christ as a whole. We, we, we don't know, you know, we, we know the word, but we don't apply it. And what I mean about that, not just be hearers of, of God's words, but doers of God's word. And that's my prayer every day. I don't want to be just hearers, but doers. But when God tells, you know, he tells us in his word, these are valuable things. These are, these are, these, this is, these are valuable things that we need to have in our day-to-day -day walk with Christ. These are valuable things. And if we apply these things in our daily life, we can be that light of the world and we can make a difference for those around us. And we don't have, and when we hurt it, we can take it to God. You know, when we have issues within ourselves, we can take it to God because he is our father. He is our everything. He, in a, he, he does not turn his back on us. He listens to every prayer that you pray. He attends to, the, he see every tear that sheds from your eyes. God is no respect of person. He, he goes just where you are. Just like the woman with the issue of blood. She was a sin. She had issues. She had a blood issue. But she had, but in this day, but we apply it to the day. We have issues. And, and we are bleeding inside. That we need to be healed on. And we need to be delivered from. And, and, and only God can heal it thee. Only God can heal only he can restore only he can make you whole only he can he don't look back don't look back don't look back this is a serious issue that we need to apply to our life every day is ourself be mindful of what we say and what we do because we are living in the perilous times saints we are we are living in perilous times and 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 we are living in a time what means are becoming lovers of themselves rather than love for God. And God is looking, excuse me, God is looking for that few. He's looking for that chosen remnant that will stand up. He's looking for those that will be that light. Because Christ, he set a perfect, Jesus set a perfect example for all of us. And how even toward how he was, how he was, how he was when he was towards women's. How he was compassionate towards women. When, when, when the Pharisees uh, caught the woman in the very act of uh, adultery. Jesus ain't said nothing. He didn't even mum up not one word. He knelt down in the sand. And he began to write in that sand. And he, be he didn't say nothing because they wanted him to say something. But see he was slow to speak and quick to listen. And when he got up. He told them, one without sin, cast the first stone. There's a lot of sisters out there that are hurting. There's a lot of sisters out there that are in pain. And we need one another. We need one another, sisters. Because we, because in this time, we got to undergird each other. We got to, I mean, whether if you're an unbeliever or whether you're a believer, you know, we, we, we have to, the believers... The women's of God has to be the life for the unbeliever women's, even the men's, even the men's, because there are some men's out there 
you know, they, 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 you know, you, you got all kinds. But I'm talking about good men. Amen. I ain't some good men. I know this seem like there ain't none out there, but it's, it's some good men. It's some women of God. Just hold on to the Lord. God will bless you with a husband. But you got to hold on. But you got to carry yourself. You got to be like that Proverbs 31 woman. And how she had value. She had values in her. She was more than precious stones and rubies and diamonds. She was more precious. It was, it was her personality. It was her personality. And how she carried herself. And that's the way that God wants us to be. He wants us to be able to carry ourselves. But also, He wants us to be healed from all the hurt, from all the pain. From what childhood uh, uh, abuse and 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 and, and uh, ma you know past marriages abuse you know and I don't we don't all been through them you know most women's and you know but now I ain't gonna say all of them because there's certain levels of different women's diversity of women's that's throughout this whole world but I'm talking about those that that's going that's having issues you know and and you know they keep manifesting you know they keep coming up and but you got to acknowledge. Yourself, you got to knowledge within yourself that I need him. And only God can be able to help you. And he can go right where you are if you are willing and obedient. And he will heal you. And I'm not talking about it'll take it. Some, some healing, it don't take overnight. Night. Some healing, it take is a process. Because sometimes it'll spring back up. But as long as you, when you acknowledge it and say, oh, Lord, just help me. I need you to help me. I, I shouldn't have never said that. I shouldn't have never done that, Lord. I, just forgive me. And when you can be in persistence and continue doing that, then God can be able to, to work in your life and work in your heart. Because it's the heart that, that was, that's, uh, that's having those issues. And they always going to manifest on the outer appearance. So, uh, I just want each of you to know, uh, to be encouraged, and to know that God loves you, and know that God cares about you. He has not forsaken you. He has not forgotten you. He loves you with an unconditional love. And all He wants you to do is come unto Him. He has His arm stretched out. He ha he's listening. He's he been with you. Some of y'all have had near-death experiences. And the, and the devil should have been and took y'all out. But God's hand was upon your life. And he spared you. I know it because he did me the same way. I'm a living testimony. I should have been dead a long time ago. But God. And I'm saying it to you tonight. But God. And I want you, sister, to be encouraged. And know that the best is yet to come for you. And know that God loves you with an unconditional love. He can be your husband. He can be your friend. He can be he can be whatever you want. He he can be your father. When your father and your mother forsaken you, he can be that too. And I want each of y'all to be encouraged and be blessed. And I know this is the first time me being on this, doing this video, and I sure pray that I, you know, I mean I to God be the glory. <laughs> Amen. So I just want y'all to be blessed. And I am I'll be coming back with y'all soon. On singleness and we're going to really get down to the nitty gritty and start talking about um, how single women should carry themselves and and you know and then we're going to talk about the marriage amen so I want y'all to be blessed and have a blessed day and may the favor of God be upon you this day and be encouraged in Jesus name amen